Hi there, and welcome back to one of my SketchUp tutorial videos. In this one, I want to show you a new feature that I just implemented. Uh, you must probably know about my random tools extension, uh, which you can get from the extension warehouse or from uh, the sketch education folks. And as part of that, uh, you can, you know, randomly um, modify geometry, pushing faces, moving uh, vertices. Then you can place components like a tree randomly on faces, uh, edges, and, and vertices and combine those as much or as little as you want. <clears throat> and then there were uh, two more functions that allowed you to randomize objects that you had already placed right here. And then to randomly swap objects, because sometimes you need to clean things up and that's really useful for that. Um, I found myself uh, wanting to have a little bit more control about deleting things and thinning things and, you know, cleaning things up. Um, and so I added a, a new feature, which is basically a feature to randomly erase objects uh, based on a percentage that you can pick. Uh, you're going to be erasing objects that are in your model, and those can be uh, groups or these can be uh, components. So either one works or, or both of them work actually at the same time. So that's perfectly fine as well. So I'll show you um, how you can use that. Uh, of course, it's useful for a bunch of other uh, purposes too, but I'm going to show you in the case of a landscape right here. Okay, so, well, landscape. <laughs> it's not much of a landscape, but it's it's basically a little bit of a hilly situation <laughs> with grass on it. And I have a component there. This one came from the Enscape li uh, library, of course. Okay, so now uh, typically you would start by placing components randomly on faces and you would select faces and component. And so now I'm going to just, uh, well, let's do it a little bit more like that right here. <clears throat> so I'm uh, going to select the faces that I want to populate and the component. Um, and uh, that's pretty much all you have to have in there. If you have multiple components, you have to only select one component that you want to distribute over those faces, of course. But uh, when you then click on place components randomly on faces, then you can um, adjust the parameters. Uh, number of copies per face is an important one because that tells you then how, how dense the placement is going to be. And for terrain, as you can see here, I used SketchUp's default terrain tools where you have a lot of triangles. And when you have triangles, you got a lot of faces. And with this tree being fairly big, you don't want to overpopulate this thing. But I'm going to say tree for now because we can delete things after. Um, then uh, rotation variation. Uh, between 0 and 360, you can put any angle in there. Uh, it just makes the front faces a little bit more, uh, um, you know, <laughs> varied. <laughs> uh, scale variation, 0 means nothing. 1 is, uh, you know, they, they'll be larger and smaller up to a certain degree. Uh, orientation should be up because trees grow up and not out of the face. Uh, normal would be for something that grows out of the face. But trees are up. And then, of course, I don't have a tag that I want to put this on. So then I'm just going to say OK and wait a little bit. And there's my forest. <laughs> Quite a bit of a forest. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, show you how this looks in Enscape because I already have that running in the background. And of course, that's a little much. All right. So now... Um, Let's go and thin that forest. When you place items using the random tools, they all come grouped, which is really useful because then you can easier select things. You can go into a group, for example, and just select things. All right, so now I've got all these trees selected, way too many trees. And now I'm going to go to this randomly erase objects tool, which basically just has one parameter. And that's a probability of, uh, of deletion. So if you do 90, it'll look like that. If you do, yeah, there we go. If you do anything less than that, of course, it'll be less. So I'm going to just do this in stages. I'm going to say 50. And, you know, that, that still looks pretty good. <laughs> but um, that's a starting point now, because now you can go ahead and actually 
select areas where there may be less of a population. So like down here, maybe there's a bit less. So I'm going to um, give that another thinning. That might not be enough. So I'm going to do that again, maybe with a 75% right there. All right. So now, now this is pretty empty here. And then, of course, on slopes, um, you may want to do the same. I'm just going to pick another area and just going to go 50% on that and so on. You know, you can now go ahead and pick and choose parts of your model that you want um, to be less dense and you just start uh, randomly deleting things until you're happy with what you got. So that's a really useful tool. Um, again, this is just one of the examples, but but you can use it on anything that's already in your model or anything that you've placed this way, as long as it's uh, a, an object, which is basically either a group or a component instance, it'll be able to randomly delete those. All right, so this will be in the um, 1.3 version of Random Tools, and you can find it, as always, on the Extension Warehouse and on Sketch Occasion. All right, well, enjoy. Mm -hmm.